Now we're going to speak with Phil Swan. Now he is the facilitator for Proposition 2 and he's from Shared Intelligence. Phil, thank you very much for joining us. Hi, good morning. What do you think about the new format for the summit this year? Um, I think the idea of um, people at the conference actually doing some work rather than uh, simply in, uh, sitting and listening to people um, speaking from a platform is a really good one uh, and a chance for uh, senior people from local government to think about uh, the future of the sector and what they can do to improve the lives of the people they work for. So if you had to sum up your proposition in a couple of sentences, what would you say it's about? Um, it's about um, how local government, um, with its new responsibility for public health, can actually make a real impact in, in tackling health inequalities and improving the health and well-being of the residents of the authorities in which the delegates here today come. And what are the key issues in this proposition? Um, the notion that um, local government, by uh, addressing public health alongside other service areas such as health, e such as housing, economic development and social services, can make a real impact on the health and well-being of their residents. Um, the proposition is being debated at the same time as the government's health and social care bill is going through Parliament. One of the criticisms of that bill is that it fragments the health service at a national level. One of the propositions we'll be exploring is that greater integration at a local level um, is worth the risk of some fragmentation at a national level because that bringing together of public health, um, housing, economic development and social services is what really matters. And we'll be exploring what, what local authorities need to put in place to make the most of that um, integration at a local level. So for delegates, how can they get involved? What are you hoping they'll bring to the table? Um, I hope they'll bring ideas. I hope they'll be honest about local government's strengths and weaknesses and how local government needs to change in order to make a success of the new role that um, it has been given. And what do you think the end result will be? What are you hoping to achieve? Um, I, hope, I hope we'll get um, some uh, commitments from local government as to what it's going to do, some requests uh, from local government for what it needs from others, um, including other parts of the health service and um, uh, a central government to enable it to make the most of its new role and um, a commitment to improve the health and well-being of local people. Well, Phil, thank you for joining us on Solace TV. That's all we've got time for at the minute, but I'm sure we'll come back to you throughout the summit. Thank you.